In this video, we will be talking about the Bell's palsy or idiopathic facial paralysis. The facial nerve is the seventh cranial nerve and carries nerve fibers that control facial movements and expressions. The facial nerve maintains the tone of the facial muscles. Bell's palsy is a condition that causes sudden weakness in the muscles on one side of the face. Often the weakness is short term and improves over weeks. Bell's palsy is caused by the inflammation of the facial nerve. This inflammation may be caused by a virus. In most of the cases, the implicated virus is herpes simplex virus. Other viruses may also cause the condition like herpes zoster virus, cytomegalovirus, and Epstein Barr virus. The precise pathophysiology of Bell's palsy still remains an area of debate. The facial nerve courses through a portion of temporal bone commonly referred to as the facial canal. A popular theory proposes that edema and ischemia result in compression of the facial nerve within this bony canal, impairing the neural conduction at this site and resulting in Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy causes one side of the face to be partly or completely paralyzed. This can lead to eyebrow sagging, dropping of the lower part of the face, especially the corner of the mouth, one eye will not close completely, leading to the dryness of the cornea. The patient may develop hyperacusis. In this condition, loud noises may be amplified and cause discomfort in the ear on the affected side. Other symptoms include posterior auricular pain, taste disturbances, ocular pain, blurred vision, and decreased tearing. Bell's palsy is usually diagnosed based on patient's symptoms and a physical examination. Blood and other tests are not usually required, but a test for Lyme disease can be done. Lyme disease is a treatable infection that can cause weakness of the face. Brain imaging can be performed to rule out other causes of the Bell's palsy. Approximately 70% of patients who have Bell's palsy will have complete recovery within weeks or months. Almost 30% of the patients will suffer long-term sculae, ranging from mild to severe, which can include facial weakness, involuntary movements, and persistent lacrimation. Most people who are diagnosed with Bell's palsy are treated with steroids for one week. Steroids can reduce swelling in the nerve and improve chances of complete recovery. Antiviral medications like well acyclovir are sometimes used in conjunction with the steroids, especially when facial paralysis is severe. Facial nerve palsy caused by Lyme disease is treated with antibiotics. The first nursing diagnosis will be acute pain related to facial nerve inflammation. The nursing interventions include administering prescribed medications and applying a warm, moist towel to the affected side of the face to soothe the discomfort and improve circulation. Next nursing diagnosis will be risk for injury related to inability to blink or close the eyelid. The nursing interventions will include applying ointment or artificial tears to the affected side. An eye patch can also be used to protect the affected eye from injury. The next nursing diagnosis will be disturbed body image related to altered physical appearance. The nursing interventions will be allowing the patient to express feelings about their condition, provide information on temporary nature of the condition. Thank you for watching. That was all about the Bell's palsy.